Hey friends, hope you're doing fine. Today I'd like to show you a quick tip on how you can extract files with Python, specifically zip files. So let's say I'm going to show you this. I have here a new folder, which is this new.zip. And what I want is I want to unzip this file using Python code. How do I do this? Well, there is a specific module, which is quite powerful, which can help us here, which is the so-called zip file module. So to do this, of course, we need the file path from here, which I already extracted. So let me paste it in here. So my path is equal to, and then I specify here the path, which is this one, which is referring to the new folder, which I have here on my desktop. So next, we need to import the module. We can also do that from the beginning here, from the start, and say I want to import, in this case, zip file, zip file. So that's the module. And in case you need to install it, you have various options. Either you can try Anaconda, so the Conda package manager, or you could also use it or install it via pip. Or the easiest way, if you use Jupyter Notebook, as I do here, you can also call the command with an exclamation mark and use um, pip install uh, zip file, like that. And run this, this specific in one cell, only this line of code, and then you would install it, okay? depending also whether you want to install it in the current, in this case, environment you're in. Or if you want to create a separate environment for that, you can also do this first using Anaconda or any kind of a pip ENV or other kind of environment manager. So let me comment this out. I don't need it. And uh, that's everything all I need. Uh, so I imported the module, which is zip file, and I also specified the path. And by the way, if you don't want you go to the path using the operating system module, then of course you would also import uh, US and then you could also west.changedir, so for change directory, and then go to the specific directory you want. So um, it's up to you. In this case, let me do this here. So I specify the path. So actually I want to do this directly in here. So let me show this to you. If I, using my path in here, or so change path, and then of course I will do the following. So let's actually execute this first. And of course, we need to specify a raw string for the path. So we have done this. And now let me actually paste this inside. So change directory to the path. Let's execute this. Okay, we are good to go. And then we can simply using os.listdir just check what's in this folder. And we can see there is one file, which is this new zip, which is exactly this file in here. So far, so good. So we are now are in the folder. And now to extract the file, we can simply call the zip file, in this case, the class from the zip file module. So we can say um, with a zip file, zip file dot zip file, zip file, like that, that's the class. And then we just need to specify here the specific um, file we want to unzip. In this case, it's my new dot zip. And I'm already in the path, so in this folder. So I can simply choose the new dot zip. So that's the file name. And because I'm already in the folder, I can reference it directly like that. If I'm not in the folder, I would use the whole string here. So this one, and then again, a slash and then new.zip at the end. Both is possible. So now I'm using this context manager with the with commands. And if you don't know what this is, let me know. Of course, I can also video, uh, create a video around that. So now we use this and we are within the context manager which allows us then to um, don't, uh, well, think about closing the file afterwards because this will, it will be done automatically for us with the context manager. So now what I need is I simply need to unzip the file. So I can say, in this case, um, of course, I need to give it an abbreviation, let's say SF. And then I simply extract it using F dot uh, extract all. That's the command. Okay. And uh, that's basically it. So only a few lines of code, but that should be it. So let's check that. Let's execute this specific line. And let's see. And you see that now the new zip is unzipped. And I can see here free PNG, other TXT, Power BI, and Python. So three images as well as this text file, which was included in the new zip file. And uh, yeah, that's actually everything we need to do here. So again, let's walk through the code just to understand this quite briefly. What you need is you need to have the zip file module. In order to get it, you can 
Um, the easiest way within Jupyter would be simply to run pip install zip file directly from Jupyter Notebook using the exclamation mark. Otherwise, of course, also use pip or any other kind of package manager using normal Python just to, to install the specific module. You can use the import OS module just in case you want to change the directory to the specific path, which we have done here, and then using list directory to list all the files in the path. If you don't want to use OS, you can also use the path directly, just at the end then put in the file name, so it would be users daniel desktop new, and then the new.zip, so a specific file exactly um, to this. And then you can use a context manager using the with command and using the zip file class from the zip file module in order to extract all the data inside. If you don't want to use a context manager for whatever reason, that means you would have to open and close the file. Okay, keep this in mind because um, the great thing about context managers with the with command is simply that it allows us to do everything inside here and then we don't need to worry about closing the zip file again because this will be done automatically for us. That is why we use this with command. But if you don't want to use it, you can open the file, read the file, and then of course, or in this case, unzip the file. And in this case, uh, afterwards, you need to close the file, okay? So that's it actually for this video. So hopefully that was helpful. And as always, I encourage you, try it out yourself. So give it a go. Just use any kind of zip file you have on your, fo on your folder, on your, um, on your laptop, on your desktop, and try to unzip it like that, okay? So if you like the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Also, feel free to share it to your friends, uh, to colleagues, and also subscribe to the channel. It would help me a lot, and I would really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care, stay safe, and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.